Hello, my name is James Servizzi, and the title of my book is A Picnic to Remember. It was summer 1944, and the world was in the agony of World War II. My mother and her sister Mary were doing their part for the war effort by working for a vegetable grower in the Kent Valley, weeding, cultivating, and harvesting. My sister Jean, Cousin Gary and me, seven, eight, and nine years old, respectively, were considered too young to work. So each day our job was to be good kids, stay out of trouble, and occupy ourselves with play around the farm. Day after day, we used whatever we could <coughs> to entertain ourselves. Packing crates were created to create, were stacked to create forts, tanks, airplanes, jails, stores, and houses. We were soldiers, sailors, pilots, nurses, prisoners, and storekeepers. The farmer, a very nice man, brought us ice cream or melons in the afternoon to brighten our spirits. After weeks of being good, boredom and tedium began to weigh heavily my sister became very expert at whining. Our mothers found us difficult to get going each early morning to get to the farm for 8 a.m. One day, after arriving at the farm, Gary and I put up a real fuss and insisted we be allowed to walk home a distance of about 10 miles. A parent today would probably wouldn't agree to such a proposal our mothers were at their wits end and decided to let us go with a promise that we follow the usual rural road. We arrived home safely just before our mother and my sister returned from the farm. We kids demanded a change from our routine. Our mothers agreed to find something for us. Desperate for a solution, my mother and aunt conceived a plan they announced that we were going on a picnic the next day. We were so excited. We would be taking a ferry to Vashon Island in Puget Sound for our picnic, but we had to get up a little earlier than usual in order to catch the early ferry. That was all right with us. We retired early to our tent in the backyard and rose without complaint when called in the morning. We piled into the 1934 Studebaker for a ride to the ferry landing. There were lots of cars in the parking lot and many people lined up for the ferry. It looks like a lot of people are going on a picnic, observed Gary. Well, let's hurry and get in line, urged Aunt Mary. We each carried our picnic lunch in a brown paper bag as we got into the ever increasing line. The passengers began moving forward as the ferry loaded and soon it was our turn at the ticket takers. Berry pickers was the query. The ticket taker had to check because pickers rode free. No, we're going on a picnic was our cheery reply. From behind us came the fateful words from my aunt and mother. Yes, we are berry pickers. Our hearts sunk. We were devastated. We had been tricked and betrayed. Our dreams of a picnic were shattered. We became very sullen as our mothers dragged and prodded us onto the ferry. At the landing on Vashon Island, we were loaded onto a stake side flat deck truck which headed down a dusty gravel road. It reminded me of the war refugees I had seen in newsreels. We certainly felt like refugees. The truck delivered us to a Loganberry farm. My cousin and I were assigned to pick along with our mothers while my sister moped and whined nearby. Loganberry vines had long, sharp thorns which added to our misery. We rebelled. We went on strike and we made life miserable for our mothers. The owner had to take us back to the ferry before the day was gone. All of us involved in this debacle had a good laugh when reminded of this picnic later in life. And we forgave our mothers 
their intentions were well-meaning. I learned a valuable lesson. I never conned my own children. Thank you.